this morning. And one thing about Newmarket, there are plenty of horses. Now, this is Emma's double, and we're off to a horse farm. And helping me today is Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Hello. Newmarket's one of the biggest areas of the world for racehorses. There's about 70 training establishments in Newmarket, which means there's approximately 2,500 racehorses in training at the moment. Emma's double did used to race. She's a very good racehorse, and she's now retired to this farm that we're going to. Throughout the day, you'll be helping with the general care of the horse, which includes anything from mucking out their stables and disinfecting, to helping the general care of them, which includes their exercise. And will the stables smell as nice as this van? <laughs> They'll smell much better than this. Thank you. And what Steve doesn't know is that his challenge will be to help a horse give birth to a foal. Here we go. Right, now, uh, I've been told I've got to lead the, the horse out, so... We, oh, cheers, lads. I'll lead her down. A bit nervous about this, because she's getting a bit fidgety now. Uh, whoa, 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 it's all right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Emma. That, am I holding her right? Right, come on, Emma. Don't you come. Don't you come. come. Do we have any paperwork with this, Mayor? Paperwork? Yeah. There we go. Thank you very much. Grand, you wanted to come on. And my name is Steve. How are you, David is my name. David, all right. I'll shake hands with you in a moment. <laughs> Don't worry about shaking hands. Yeah. Right, so... Yeah. Uh, we just, want, we just want to look around the mare just to make sure that she was in good health. She's carrying nice conditions, that she's looking well. So we've got an arrivals form to fill in. So, name of the mare, which is Emma's, Emma's double. double. yeah. Condition, Condition of the mare, good. Tick that. Yeah. Shoes. That's why I just want to check her shoes there quickly. No shoes. No I, shoes? No, no shoes, front or hind. Front or hind. Mm -hmm. So what now, do we do with her now? Well, basically what we're going to do now that we've checked her over, we're going to send her, leave her out in her exercise paddock. And she'll go out with the other mares. Come on in. Come on in. Over we go. See your friends. Good girl. I'll shut the gate. You shut the gate and then I can let go. Okay. Of Good girl. Off she goes. she gone? Yes. She's off with her friends now. Why does she go out in this field? Well, this is their natural exercise for them in the day. They graze and then they just wander around. <laughs> So I assume there's um, no stallions in here then? No, the stallions are kept in a, an entirely different yard. Um, there's special stallion handles that look after them. A stallion is a male horse. Horses and humans belong to a group of animals called the mammals. Mammals reproduce by a process called sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction begins with fertilisation. Fertilization in humans begins with the joining of two special cells. The cell produced by its mother is called the egg and the sperm cell is produced by its father. The joining of the egg and sperm is fertilization. The egg and sperm contain special parts called genes. The genes carry information on how to make the baby. The fertilized egg divides over and over again to form new cells. Later on, these cells grow into different parts of the body. Fertilization takes place in a special tube inside the mother called the fallopian tube. About three days after fertilization, the fertilized egg travels out of the fallopian tube into an organ nearby called the womb. Here, it burrows into the lining of the womb and begins to develop into a baby. Almost six weeks after fertilization, the baby's heart is beating. The head, body and eyes are also forming. By the ninth week, the baby can move and its hands and feet are clearly formed. During the next 30 weeks, the baby continues to grow until it's ready to be born. When a woman first becomes pregnant, she comes to the hospital to meet the midwives who are going to look after her for the next nine months. The job of a midwife is to check both mum and baby are healthy during those nine months. And today I'm going to see a lady, Anita, who's come to the clinic so that I can check her over and check that everything's okay. Anita, do you want to come through? Morning, Sue. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Everything all right? 
Yeah, not too bad. I'll be glad to um, to give birth now, though. OK, Anita, so how many weeks pregnant are you now? I'm 38 weeks pregnant, so I've only got two weeks to go. Right. So it could yes. happen any time, I guess. Yeah, it could do. <laughs> what I'm going to do is check that the baby is healthy. I've already checked that Anita's healthy by doing a certain number of tests that we routinely do, like checking her urine and her blood pressure, checking that Anita's eating and drinking well, and she looks very well. The other thing I can do is actually feel the position of the baby and I can feel the baby's head right down in the pelvis there, so that's good. So the baby's in the right position because the baby needs to have, the head, the head needs to be down here because obviously when a baby is born the head comes out first, so that's fine. The other thing that I can do is actually listen to the baby's heartbeat and I do this by using a monitor that picks up the baby's heartbeat. I need to use a bit of gel, okay, and where I think the baby's heart is, I'll just pop that on there, and there we are, Gosh. you happy wonderful. with that? Absolutely yeah. wonderful, yeah, the baby's heartbeat beats at about twice as fast as ours does. This lady's womb is being scanned by an ultrasound probe. The signals travel to the ultrasound computer. And then we actually get an image that's sent up to here onto the screen. And here you can see Anique's five-month-old baby. Is that the profile? Yes, here. You can see the baby's head. That's the, the back of the head. Here. Side view of the baby's face. And then along here got the baby's back across there, baby's bottom and a leg that comes up here and this is the knee. It's a lovely profile. Yeah. I didn't get you a okay. picture of that. Uh. Ultrasound scans are also used to check for pregnancy in female horses. And here we find the pregnancy. Now, this is the... Uh, so how far pregnant is she? She's 40 days, almost six weeks. That's there we are. Fantastic. You can see that quite well now, I think. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, beautifully. Yeah. OK. Now, your real challenge is to learn all about what happens when the mare has the foal, and we want you to be there and watch a mare, supervise a mare having a foal, and be ready to help if any troubles crop up. Can this happen any time, day or night? Well, uh, that's the catch, I'm afraid. Uh, <laughs> I have mo to be most, sitting by my phone when mo I... Most mares fall at night. So yeah. it means uh, losing a bit of sleep, usually. No problem, no problem. <laughs> so what happens here? This is the foaling unit, Steve. This is where the mares that are about to fall are kept. And they'll fall down here, and they'll stay here until the foals are a couple of days old, and then they'll go on to one of the nursery yards. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. Hello. Hello. This is Annalise, Steve. Hi, Hi. Steve. She's been Annalise right? is the foreman of the following unit. She's going to take care of the training for the day, so I'll see you later. All right. All right, so where do I start? Here's a fork. Oh. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, this is nice. This is lovely. Yeah. What, but what do I do with this? Sort out the clean straw from the dirty straw and put all the dirty in the wheelbarrow. Just scoop it into the... And... This is how you start, is it? It's yes. what you learn to do first. That's right. Mmm, lovely. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> the hot steam kills any germs that might make the foal ill. What do we do next? Well, let's go and get the nails and foals in. Lovely. All right, we'll just leave this here. Yeah. This foal is a few days old, but it takes several months for a foal to develop inside its mother. The length of pregnancy is the time from when the egg is fertilized to the moment of birth. It's about two months for a dog, five months for a sheep, nine months for a human, 11 months for a horse, and an amazing 21 months for an Indian elephant. So 
Um, this horse here, she's massive, isn't she? How do you know when a, when a horse is about to start foaling? Well, I'll show you what to look for. All right. Come round here. Um, yeah. Every day we get them in, we check underneath the udder, underneath the belly here. Yeah. Um, you can see the bag gets bigger. Right. And uh, that means that it's filling up with milk. Oh, lovely. And at the end of the teats, there'll be some droplets, which is basically the first milk. And then we'll know she's getting close to falling. Are there any other signs that you look out for? Um, she'll start getting, walking around in the paddock, maybe getting a little bit, little bit restless, um, maybe getting away from the others. And then we know she's getting a bit uncomfortable and wants to go in and fall. So you know you've got a bit of a late night on there, yes, yeah? Yes, we could have, yeah. Well, she is absolutely gorgeous. Um, uh, I think this is the one I'm going to be looking out for, isn't it? I hope so. <laughs> so now should we go and get the mess and falls in? All right, then. We'll okay. do that. Yes, where are they? Over here? No, they're down there. Down there? OK. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Not too hard. How old is the foal? He's five days old. Let's just take hold of him. Yes. God, I'm trying to keep it quiet. Don't upset. Mm -hmm. Come on. So we, we're That's taking it. these in, yeah? Yes. What, do they come in every day? Yes, they come in round about this time every day. Oh, so sorry. come in to feed. Come. And we need two people to walk them in like this. <laughs> Because the foal doesn't really know what to do. Yeah. You, you just steer and hit him. And Is that I'm, why you're I'm, standing behind? I'm, like I'm that? pushing. <laughs> I'm pushing. So do they know which stable they've got to go to? No, she doesn't really. So you've got to steer her oh, as right. well. <laughs> I don't even know how to steer her. Come on. This way. Just, no, this way. Just push her. In he goes. Right. So the foal goes in first. The foal goes in first. Yeah. And she'll follow you. Yeah. And you just take the mirror. Come on. In he comes. And then steer around like that. That's steer it. around. Okay. Like this. Perfect. And then. And let's fall go, and so that's it. We should be all right. Huh? We should be. <laughs> Look, I notice over there that the mm -hmm. foal is eating with the mare, the mum. Yeah, the foal is actually just copying the mare. His feed is now his milk. He just drinks milk. But the thing he does, he just copies the mare. Oh, so that's, how he learns, how, how, that's how he learns to eat. All mammals are unique and inherit characteristics from their parents through special parts called genes. Genes control everything from height to the colour of skin and eyes, but we can't always tell exactly how genes will behave. Liz Smith has brown eyes. Bob Smith has blue eyes. Liz and Bob have two children, Ellie and Ben. Both have blue eyes. Other things can happen too. This is the Lynch family. This is Dane, and this is his brother, Durrell. Dane and Durrell are identical twins. This means that they developed from the same fertilized egg, which split into two identical parts, so they have the same genes. Although Dane and Durrell have identical genes, they are two different people. What happens now? All well, the horses are away. Well, this is the sit-up room from here, Sue. That's right. Uh, like duty. Right. So hopefully they'll be falling tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I generally hope so. So I'm off now. So hey. I'll leave you to Sue. All right. OK. Bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good night. We're going to be sitting here all night. So what, what's expected of me, then? Well, basically, what we're going to do is check the mares regularly, about every 15 minutes. Go round, make, make sure that uh, any change in routine of the mare, um, if she starts walking the box or sweating up or pouring up a bed. So they're the signs to look for? They're, they're the signs to look for for, right. for first stage labour. We're go, going to go down here and just check these mares again now. OK. What, just down this Yeah. Side? We've got a television monitor as well, which we've got three cameras. That's actually on the mare that you're most likely to see foaling. Um, you can obviously see easier if they're moving around or getting uncomfortable. Yeah. Come down and have a look at her anyway. Oh, don't upset her. Well, she's standing nice and quietly eating her hay. I did, she's not 100% ready to foal yet. Uh, but basically it's a lot of sitting and waiting. Had a nice long night. That's right, definitely. <laughs>
It's impossible to tell exactly when a birth will happen. Steve had to wait all night. The mare is about to fall, so we haven't got very long. Before I get going, I have to put on the green. Rather she lay down first. Yeah, because it doesn't fall. You see his foot, you just see its little hoof. As the foal emerges, the special liquid that surrounded it in the womb comes out. So what do we just do? Right, we'll creep over. No, no. And just get behind it. There we go. I just want to check that other foot's as it should be. Yeah, there it is. You can see it. Yes, yes. the other foot. Steve, if you come round, okay. keep low and just come round behind me. All right, good girl. That's its head coming out, yeah. Just split the bag. I'm just split the bag. Just split the bag. Out. Look at it in there. Wow. All right, good girl. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Do you, do you need me to help? Yeah, if you mm. just cut. Just put your hand on mm. the head. That's all. Just, the, mm. <coughs> just don't pull it, just so no, you can just it. No, holding it. Just guide it around, that's all. Just pull. Ah, oh, as you can. Ah, One more. Hold on, yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. And it's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's yours. Have a sniff. It's yours. Go on, have a lick. Give it a clean. Come on. Newborn foals learn to stand up fairly quickly. After birth, some animals start walking before others. If an Indian elephant, a foal, a lamb, a puppy and a baby were all born at the same time, the elephant, foal and lamb would all start walking about an hour later, but the puppy would start walking about a week later. This is Shoma, and he's 12 months old. This is about the time when a human baby takes its first steps. Get off. This shivering, it's not that the foal's cold, it's all the... Nerve endings and the blood supply working its way through the fold. Yeah. If you can walk in half an hour, it'd be incredible, wouldn't it? You did a good job there, Steve. You were involved slightly more than I thought you were going to be, but no, that was, that, that was great. You were a good help there. So. Okay, that's strong. It is. It is. I'll never forget that. 